So here's what you need in order to filter the hierarchy viewer. First you need a view object that the hierarchy viewer is going to be based on. So we have the employees view, which is based on the employee's entity and does the link between employee and who is a manager to the employees that work for him. Now one thing we did is we actually changed this default view object and we added this work clause. Okay, so we're using a PID parameter in here. Okay. And we're using the NVL function, which is a database function uh, that you can use here. And it basically says uh, where employee ID equals um, NVL PID. NVL basically says that if the PID is null, so if there's no value for the parameter, we're going to use this. So then it becomes employee ID equal employee ID, which means we get all the employees. However, if there's a value in the employee in the PID, we're filtering by that value. Then you go over and you create another view object, and we call this one the AMP by name. And here we basically have again a list of employees, right? And we can filter by a parameter called a name, either by first name or last name. Okay, so we're looking for this parameter in either of those two fields. And this is the second view object that we have. Now we're going to create a new JSF page. Okay, so we'll apply a simple theme to it. And from the data control, we're going to start with the employees view. Okay, so that's the one that basically fetches all the employees and has um, the other differences. It has the employees view beneath it, so there's a hierarchy in here. So we're going to pick a hierarchy viewer, turn on all sorts of behaviors. If we want to, we can rearrange things in here like that. Click OK. And that's our base hierarchy viewer. And the other things you might want to change, you can see my other blog about the hierarchy viewer here, just going to change those two values um, to make the hierarchy viewer a little bit more readable when it first displays. Now what you're going to do is this. You're going to take the employee by name and under operation you'll see the execute with params. Okay, you're going to drag and drop it into the hierarchy viewer okay, and you're going to be able to define um, the attributes that you're going to see in the list of employees that you're filtering. So we're going to see first name and last name. You can also, for example, add an employee ID here. Like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do an execute with params and into the PID parameter you're going to put in the employee ID attribute. Okay. So you're going to see this list, pick one, take the employee ID, put it into the PID parameter which is the parameter that filters the view object on which the hierarchy viewer is based. Click Save and run your page. So you get your hierarchy viewer, you can zoom out, move around, you get a little search box up here. Right? You can say let's look up all the employees whose name is King. Find someone, double click him, and you get this person. Do another search, and you can find another person. Okay. Again, to understand, once you find an employee, okay, the hierarchy view still works, so you can see all the employees working for that employee. 